All right, so we're going to be taking a look at some really cool features in Notebook LM. And specifically, we're going to be looking at this brand new feature. It's called the mind map feature. You can generate an AI mind map based on your sources. We need to create a source. You can actually click on upload source, type in a keyword, and it will do research. You can add YouTube videos, stuff from your Google Drive, copy text and paste it in or upload any PDF or file. But what we're gonna do is I wanna get even more specific and more strategic on the information that we're going to provide. So we're gonna go in here to ChatGPT. We're gonna put in a prompt. It says, what are 10 niches in 2026 that are trending and have low competition? This is a great way to start out if you want to try to build a website or something like that. If you wanted to create a website, which I do recommend if you're gonna go all in on a website, I would recommend creating a Shopify store or maybe even, uh, maybe you could go the WordPress route, but having some type of product that you're actually selling on your website to separate it from just being a, a niche or a content informational website, the websites that are winning and getting all the traffic provide something more than just content. But we're going to use a content site in general for the informational example purposes in this video. So I just typed that in. It gave me 10 ideas. If you don't like any of these ideas, you just say, hey, give me 10 more. But one right here looks kind of cool, premium and sustainable pet products. So what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to say, okay, let's go with number nine. Give me let's just go with 50 um, unique article topics that I could write to build my website out and covers all the most important topics on this niche. So I'm going to just go like that. You can get more of an elaborate prompt right there if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and push go and we'll see what ChatGPT comes up with for us right here. It's going to start coming up with what we could actually go for right here. What are sustainable pet products? Why eco-friendly pet products are safer for pets? So you have your foundational authority content, your core pillars. This might have already created the core pillars for us, which is really cool. We could also come back and say, hey, put these into different buckets for us. When we write one of these articles, which of these foundational core pillars do we put it in or maybe create the blog categories that we want to put all these in? What we're going to do now is copy all of this right here. I'm just going to copy this. So we have all this information right here. I'm going to grab those 50 right there and we're going to go back into notebook LM and I'm going to paste this in right here, paste all that information. in. so we just pasted all that information in. I'm going to say insert. So now we have our first source that we brought in right here. And now we're going to go over here. We could push the mind map button. I'm going to go ahead and push that. We're going to see what it ends up doing based on that one source. But then there's something that I'm thinking of doing that might make it even better. And we're going to try that out in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead, we're going to click on this and we're going to see. So we have the sustainable pet authority. Let's go back over into here and you can actually zoom in with the mouse wheel on your mouse, or you can use these arrows down here and go plus minus. And then all you have to do is just left click over here and move this around, which is kind of nice. So then now you can start looking over here. So you have your foundation and authority. We can click on that. I don't know why it always keeps bouncing out like that. I don't really like when it does that. So when we click on this, I'd like it to just stay put. When we click on something, it kicks us out of that. I don't know why it is doing that, but every time we click on that, it's going to pull in more summary and more information right here for us. Uh, I'm going to go back over here and zoom in. And if we click on one of these pet safety benefits, you can click on that and it's going to do a recap of information right there. It's going to pull in information as well. And then we can come back over here. So this is the third layer. Notice when we clicked on the green, it's not going to break these down any further, but you can see the content buckets. It already did this for us. I was thinking that we were going to have to go in there and say, hey, give me are four or five core pieces of content that we should create, but we don't need to do that because it already did that for us, right? So if we have the foundation and authority, we have the dog focus products right here. So let's click on that right there. That's how you do that. You click on these arrows and it'll keep you inside the mind map. You click the arrows. If you click on the box right here, it's gonna go and try to do more research based on that. We can go to dog focus products right here. You have durable, sustainable toys, leashes and collars, non-toxic beds, eco, friendly packaging then you'd be able to write an article on each one of these maybe it's a roundup post maybe part of the post is talking about how these are beneficial 
to your pet and then you can actually put in five or ten products and so forth so it's a really great way to start looking at your content plan for a website getting it in mind map form you can use the power of ai like we went over here we grabbed all of these ideas and it broke this down for us and you can see here's the dog focused products right here and then we can come back over here dog focused and then you have your cat focused products right here and so it was able to take these articles and we would be putting those in that bucket. If you just went out and built a site out like this would be a great core way to do this and you already have your main focuses. Now there's another way you could do that. Back in chat GBT, you could say, this is great. Each one of these would be pillar topics on the site. Is this a good plan or would you add topics as pillars, would you make any changes? You're using AI in the right way. I'm having a conversation with it. This is a very strong plan, but I would not make all 50 of these pillar pages. Well, that's not what we wanted. It kind of got confused on what I said, but it is recommending these as pillar one. That's how good a chat GPT 5.2 is. These are all the pillars, sustainable dog products are right here. So you've got your five pillars right here. Would you add any more pillars or stick with this for the site? We will see what ChatGPT 5.2 says. Great question. And honestly, this is where a lot of sites either stay clean or powerful or get bloated and slow. So I would stick with the six pillars for launch. I would plan two optional phase two pillars, but not publish them yet. So these other additional ones would be phase two pillar pet health, safety, and non-toxic living. Pillar number one, sustainable pet materials. Those are getting really specific and they don't immediately say, oh, we definitely need to add those to the site. It really did a great job of just giving us what those pillars were. And then we're able to go and mind map this out right over here. What you could do is you've already got this. You could basically download this, right? And you could save this as your content plan right here. And you already have a mind map, a structure of your website it's using Notebook LM and ChatGBT. So you have your sustainable pet authority website, right? You're going to create these pillar topics and inside of these pillar topics or categories, you're going to write all these articles. All these articles are going to point back to this main either category or pillar content, depending on how you want to set up your website. Then you can come over here and you're like, okay, cool. We're going to talk about dogs now. And then you've already got all your articles. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten articles there. Then you have your cat focused right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products right there. And then you can come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products for premium and niche subtopics. So these are going to be, maybe you want to title this something different and you just go back to chat GBT and say, Hey, I don't like this as a category. Give us a little bit better category. After you plug that into chat GBT, you can just come back over here. You can exit out of this and type in here. Here are our categories or something like that, fix buying and monetization and change it to this, then you could go out and create your mind map again. So that's really cool. Okay, so another thing you can do is go into a notebook that you've created. I'm gonna go in here to the Amazon Influencer Program. I call this Amazon Influencer Program Genius. If you guys are interested in that, I'll be doing a review on one of the softwares that I'm using that's starting to help me make hundreds of dollars per month. So I'll be doing a review on that possibly tomorrow or next week. So make sure you don't wanna miss that if you're interested in a little bit of the Amazon Influencer Program, but I'll really just be reviewing a software. I won't be talking much about that program on this channel. But we can come over here and we can take a look at, we have all this this information right here from a, I believe this was a YouTube video, a long video, like 45 minute video. But what you could do in here as well is you could just click the mind map button, but we could go in here and just say, what are the key points and strategies discussed on this call? What main points will help move the needle in my Amazon Inventor program business? And I'm going to go ahead and push enter on that. It's going to go and look for answers. It's referencing only the source material. That's why I really like Notebook LM is that we can completely control the source 
information. And basically, I mean, it's basically factual and it's a controlled source because it's not going to go out there and hallucinate and find different information out there where you don't know where it's getting it. It's getting it only from the transcript from this video, which is really cool. We actually have all this information over here. We can save the notes. I need to save that as a note as well. And then another really cool thing that we can do is we can come over here to these three dots and convert all notes to a source, right? We have our notes and it just created all these notes into a source. We have both those check marked. Now I'm going to click the mind map button right here. It's going to generate a mind map. That is the only way you can control the mind map. It doesn't let you prompt it. I would like it to be able to do that. I'm not seeing that as an option. If you add all your notes over here, add them as sources, we could have unchecked this and only went with the notes. We'll try that in just a minute. So let's see what the mind map was. What did it create for us right here? So we'll move this over. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see it better. So we have the Amazon Influencer Blueprint. You can actually use this. I might even use this as some type of mind map for a YouTube video, right? You can click on this and say, hey, we're going to discuss the Amazon Influencer Blueprint. The first step is strategic mindset. You have your precision over volume. It's no longer about creating hundreds of videos per month. It's actually more about product selection, higher quality videos, and a fewer videos, but high quality. Spend all your time on product selection that you're actually going to select a product that meets a certain criteria that you're going to either purchase or get a brand deal. You have a way higher chance of making money from that product review than just randomly. A few years ago, the advice was to re review every product under the sun that you can get your hands on around your house and so forth. But the advice from professionals making thousands of dollars a month on the program is actually the opposite. It's data-driven investment, strict discipline, speed to market, and quality over busyness. Then you can come back over here and click that and you have your creator connections. It looks like there's even more information inside that so you can keep going until you see a stopping point. So as long as there's an arrow right here, there's more information to be given. You can open up all these, right? And we can look at all these. So creator connections, high commission, three to four standard, campaign duration is a month or greater, upper carousel presence required, low competition. So you want two influencers or fewer. These are all the product selection criteria. Look at how you can look at this. It's mind mapped out to us. Before doing this and fooling around with this, I actually got all the notes and copied them into a Google note or something like that. We could download this picture right here and paste it into a Google Doc, and we already have all of our information. So super, super cool. You want products in the $30 to $40 range. You want high sales volume, 8,000 to 10,000 monthly, and so forth. We can go into what are the research tactics? We can come over here, daily sales report, top 50 categories, replicating success templates, softwares that are being used. Let's go click on that real quick. This person was using Fluencer Fruit and Oink Calculator, and then they break that down even further. And then your content strategy right here, horizontal orientation. So one and a half to two minute duration. Look at how much information. I'm a visual learner and an audio learner. Reading material is not my favorite way to just read a book or read a bunch of text, but I love listening to watching videos or listen to audio. Seeing information like this just makes complete sense to me. This is a really great way to apply in school. If you're in college, high school, and you're studying for tests and everything, you can get some sources, put them into Notebook LM, and create mind maps. And once you create a good mind map, you can push the download button. Make sure that you're controlling your sources with AI. AI is only as good as what you are feeding it. Notebook LM is the best AI tool that allows you to completely control the source material. And then they're adding so many cool, awesome tools for us. I've got all these other tools over here. I'm not going to go over all those in this video. I wanted to actually make a video on each one of these tools. Stick around. I'll do more videos on Notebook LM. If you've made it to this point of the video and there's any over here that you want me to go over the data table, quiz, flashcards, slide deck, infographic reports, audio overview, video overview, just type that in below. I'll make that video very quickly for you. Thanks for watching the channel. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video.